Well, I think Cooley is important to the building industry because one, it adds a bit of tenure and uh, for many building workers and their families. Uh, before coup leave, it was quite common practice for long-term employees to be terminated at nine years and five months. With the introduction of coup leave, I can remember clearly where many workers who had been in the uh, shall we say the long campaign uh, for many many years said well I'll never get it myself but uh, at least the young ones will but then of course a few years in I can remember we uh, we gave some back credits to building workers and that was the one I thought was was the most rewarding because there was many of those workers who'd been around for a very long time and involved in the campaign to get uh, to get them got picked up who otherwise probably would have missed out before their retirement. Take you back to the early 70s, when the 75, I think, the Fraser government introduced a wage freeze in this country, things like that. So, how do you get around um, uh, problems such as that? So that often the portable long service like push would uh, either coincide with that or not coincide, be done in between. Because unions uh, at the time would always, uh, the demand was always there, they would have a go, they would fail, uh, people would then uh, fire up again to have another go because they, they wanted portable long service leave because they missed out and, and workers would get really dirty when they got paid off, you know, they'd done eight years and missed out on the long service leave. Portable long service leave is a, is a reason for you as a worker to stay in this industry. Now that so many industries are casualised, whereas you can, I can look and say to a worker, well listen mate, you might as well stay in the building industry because at least you'll pick it up. If you do bar work, you'll get sacked just as regularly, you'll get changed your job just as regularly, but you'll never get long service leave. But at least if you stay as a building worker and do your, do your time, you'll, you'll pick up some of these entitlements, you'll pick up redundancy pay, you'll, because all the portability of the schemes that operate in the industry. If you come to work, and let's say you're able to reinstate some workers' credits who was in danger of losing them, surely you should go home and say, well, I made a difference. No, we probably didn't reflect uh, much. It was a uh, tick that and uh, move on. There was a terrible amount of issues on the table and not much resources to do it with. 